morning everyone here from Bahia Hebe on the southern coast of the Dominican Republic so in the last video we were in Las Terenas in the north and then from there we got a bus to Santo Domingo and then we got another bus in Santo Domingo to a place called La Romana which is nearby and then from there we got a van to Bahia Hebe and we came here mainly just to go to an island nearby called Isla Saona which is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video it's one of the top three things that we wanted to do here in the Dominican Republic along with Cayo Levantado and Playa Fronton which we visited in previous videos so really looking forward to it and the tour that we booked is going to cost $50 overall and that's including the government access fee to the island so yeah $50 per person and now we just got to head to the store where we booked it I think they're going to take us in a van to a pier that's nearby and then we'll start the boat tour You think the weather's going to open up? I hope so, <laughs> but I don't know, there, there are too many clouds. Yeah, there's loads of clouds. Hopefully down south, it's better. So we ended up switching boats right in the beginning. We're now on a gigantic catamaran. <laughs> Man, so it looks like we're going straight into a storm over there. <laughs> This weather is not looking good. Look at that cloud. The storm tour. made it Carol. Yeah. Took about two hours I think, right? Yeah, it took too long but at least we're here now. Thank you. So included in the tour you get these uh, sunbeds as well, so you don't have to pay any extra for that. And I think it's about 12.15 now, in about 40 minutes we'll have the buffet and then we've got until 3pm, so it's almost 3 hours here overall. And the sun looks like it might come out now, you can see some blue Ramon. skies over there at least. Ramon. Ramon. Hopefully it does. Ramon. A lot busier than we thought right? Yeah. There's like millions of tour boats too many I think but it's because uh, this tour they also people also come from Punta Cana 
and from other parts of the, the country, so that's why it's so busy. Yeah, it's not like just one specific region coming no. here. <laughs> that water sure looks nice though. Gonna have to get in there soon. Yeah, so if you go into Punta Cana, this is like the most famous boat tour from Punta Cana as well, I think. But um, from what we saw online, over there you'll be paying like a uh, hundred dollars. We obviously just paid 45 because uh, Bayahibi is much closer if you look on the map. So yeah, if you stay in Bayahibi or La Romana, you'll be able to come here a lot cheaper. If this is one of the main reasons that you come into this region. Another alternative that I didn't know about is helicopter. So. There's a helicopter up there. So that means there's actually a helipad here. Yeah, I saw online that there's like a tour. And you come by helicopter and have lunch and then come back to the mainland. Really? Yeah. Like $600 per person or something? No, it's not that expensive, but no. it's expensive. I think $200. Something. Incoming boat cow. So we got lucky, the skies have opened up and this place looks a whole lot more beautiful now. It's very nice though, isn't it? Yeah, it is a beautiful island and a beautiful beach. Yeah. I think it's a huge island as well, we're just at a very small part. Yeah, yeah, I, I think there is a, like a little town. Like a little village or something. Yeah, village and also another beach in the south. But the other way, I don't know. But there are a few spots that you can go. But I guess on the sea we just come to this park here. Yeah. Yeah, this is like where everybody comes, but I think you can possibly stay on the island in the village and then you'll have like deserted beaches. Not just these busy ones that we're going to be showing in this video. So I think now it's time for our buffet. Hopefully some good fish, like all the boat tours. So I went for the white fish. Not sure what kind of fish that is. Rice, got some bread and some fruit. And you just got some pasta, right? Yeah, and salad as well. And the drinks, it's open bar, so yeah, you can get as much drinks as you want, even alcohol. Even even on the boat, right? Yeah. So it's actually a really good price, because $45 and you can eat and drink yeah, as much as you want. The alcoholic one is just a uh, rum and coke, but <laughs> still, it's an alcohol alcoholic drink and it's open bar. Oh. Yeah. So Carol showing us what you do once you've had a big nice meal yeah the food was awesome just like the other bowl tour that we did here yeah it's always great food, always isn't it? great food. so they have these little hammocks everywhere where are the other ones oh yeah here everyone's doing the same <laughs> the same thing gonna stay here then you stay here i'll go to the the ocean What do you got there? Rum and coke. Rum and coke. Straight from the bar. So we got about an hour and 30, an hour and 40 minutes. So we thought we'd 
adventure off into the deserted part of it. So you don't have to stay in the part where it's all like loud boats and music. Got other stretches of beach here, completely empty. So you can have a bit of both if you want. You can party over there. Yeah, and relax over here. Yeah, and relax over here, which is what we're gonna do. So if you've been watching all the previous videos, I know the majority have just looked like it's sunny all the time, even though we're in July. But that's just because we've been choosing the days depending on the forecast. So usually it's like two days sunny and then it might show two days storms. So obviously when we want to go to the beach and stuff, we choose the good days, right? And today showed that it was going to be a good day, but yeah, obviously this time the, the forecast pretty much got it wrong. but. Usually it's pretty correct, just this one time. But overall, I think we've been very lucky with the weather during our time here. Oh, what's that? Uh, coral. Wow. Peacock. Like a peacock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's almost the map of Brazil. Oh yeah? Can you see it? <laughs> yeah, it is. The Brazil coral. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the large majority of the island is just like this, like completely untouched not much here at all it is like a protected area i think but as we mentioned before there is a little village there i'll write down the name and yeah i just wish we had known about that before after we booked the tour yesterday that's when we found out that there's a village there and then yeah it would just been easier to just come here and stay here instead of having like two or three hours and having to go back but there is another stop we're gonna stop at a really cool place on the way back Hopefully it's still cool even without the sun. We'll find out. Head under this thing. Whoa. <laughs> So this is our last stop on the tour. It's called Piscina Natural, natural swimming pool. Check out that color, crazy.
So the reason they call it the natural swimming pool is because you're waist height, like this. Even though you're really far away from land, so I think it goes deep and then you just have this shallow area here. And there must be like, I don't know, 800 people in here right now. Pretty much all the boats have come to this spot, but the area is so huge, the waist height area, that yeah, it doesn't really seem that packed. But you can see all the way around, people everywhere. Before I close out this video, I'll just take you on a quick tour of the Airbnb that we stay in. So this is $40 a night, and it's probably the nicest place that we've stayed so far. So this is like the living room area, got loads of cool artwork on the walls. And then I like this kitchen layout as well, been able to work here. We also have some chairs here, so we've been able to have breakfast as well. And yeah, the kitchen's a, a nice size. Yeah, this is the artwork I was telling you about. And this one too. <laughs> and then through here, the cupboard. And this is the bedroom, which is pretty spacious. Got the AC. And uh, this is my favorite artwork here. Looks awesome. Kyle's taking a shower, so I can't show the bathroom right now. And the only problem with this place though is the internet. For some reason, the uh, internet's really, really bad. It's like impossible to upload any videos and it keeps dropping all the time. So yeah, it's the worst internet we've had so far, but besides that, everything else is pretty good. And in the next video, we're gonna do something a bit different. I won't talk about it now, but yeah, it's gonna be different to what we usually do on this channel. So hopefully you like this video. The boat tour was really awesome, even though the weather was a bit crazy. It even rained a few times when we were on that beach, but yeah, we still enjoyed it. Everywhere we go here has been beautiful so far. Just a very beautiful country. The nature is incredible. So if you like this video, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you in the next one.